This is Joey Davidson, Senior Gaming Editor at TechnoBuffalo.com, and I'm here with a look at Proteus. Get ready for it. Man, so do you guys remember that one time when I was all like, Antichamber is going to be one of the strangest games we ever feature on Wii Play. It's unlike anything we've ever shown off in this series before, and we'll probably never use something like it again. I lied. Terribly. If Antichamber was weird, I, I don't even know where to start with Proteus. Proteus is, I don't know, it's really weird. <laughs> so where Antichamber was a puzzle-solving game... Proteus is one of those things that kind of starts to skirt the line of being a game at all. This is an exploration title. Just take it in for a second. You saw how it starts. That was the first time I fired this game up. This is actually the first time I'm playing this game right here. What you're seeing right now is the first time I'm playing Proteus. I'm just meant to explore an island. So just listen to the music and pay attention to the graphics. It's going to be strange. Let me clarify that statement I made just a bit ago. You know, the one about Proteus skirting the line of being a game. Proteus, according to its creators, is a game. According to my personal stance, it can be interacted with, it has a sense of progression, and it tells a, a sort of story using mechanics familiar to the world of gaming, so it's a game. When I say story, I don't necessarily mean like a strict narrative. It just kind of tells the, I don't know, the, the, the feeling of this island that you're on. However, Proteus has no clear and finite end goal aside of exploring that island. There's no real sense of victory that comes from defeating like a, a, a boss or an enemy. The only winning that can be achieved is satiating that sense of wanderlust. There's no boss, there's no direct conflict, no strict line of puzzles, and no real sense of victory. Proteus is about exploration. It's like a foray into sound, music, and visual stimulation. It's weird, it's pretty, and it sounds really great, and it's just this strange, bizarre creation. So this is an experience that will cost you $10. You can buy it from the developer's site, visitproteus.com, and they'll actually give you a Mac and Windows version instantly that's DRM-free, and they'll include the Steam version. So 10 bucks, and you can support the developers directly and buy in on this really bizarre experience. It, it's kind of an odd thing to put into words, but going to the island on Proteus, even virtually and, and for the brief time that I was there before recording this video, or while recording this video, I should say, it's kind of brought about this really odd sense of childish wonder, like you're experiencing these really strange noises and the, this really strange environment complete with weather and odd creatures and great, strange, bizarre music, and, and it just brings about this feeling of all. You don't really know what to make of it. You don't know how to 
process it, but you want to explore it. And that's one thing that I have to say these two, Ed Key and David Kanaga, Kanaga, I guess? I'm reading that. I'm sorry. David, if you ever watch this video, I am so sorry. So Ed and David just kind of really achieved this, this world that had to be explored. It commands exploration. It's something that you get in and go, yes, I, I want to walk over there, and I want to walk over there, and now there's some odd shapes in the background, and I want to see those. And you'll see me kind of looking around here in circles as I'm in this odd cemetery style place and I'll notice some statues just off in the distance on the, on the mountaintop and I go to them and there's no real reason other than they're clearly beckoning and something needs to be done about that so I go and that's what Proteus is it's just deciding to go and explore and then they reward you for it they reward you for walking out there with these really strange moments and odd effects. And, and something special happens at the end of this video that I was not expecting at all. I'm not going to give it away now, it's like five minutes away, but... I have to say kudos to these guys for, for creating a, an odd world without a real set of rules other than walk around and be rewarded for walking around. I like that about this game, and that's definitely what makes it worth 10 bucks. It's bizarre, it's not for everyone, and I'm not going to sit here and say that you're going to love Proteus, but if you're the type of person who enjoys these types of things, who likes these unique experiences, I recommend it. It's weird, but it's great, and it's, it's really exploratory, and that's what's awesome about it. Alright, now that that moment with the strange statues atop the hill is over, you're going to see me walk towards this kind of area of cascading stars. It look, looked almost like a waterfall while I was playing, I just felt I needed to go over there. Um, which really is in line with what the game is trying to achieve. I mean, there's so many moments like the one that you're seeing right now where just the world instantly comes to life and pushes you further. So, like I said, I really recommend Proteus to those of you who want to experience something different. We'll be back with more normal games. In the coming weeks, we've already done Sly Cooper in between this and Antichamber, but if you guys like this type of thing, let me know. I'm, I'm more than happy to keep doing it. I love playing these types of games and diving into the unexplored world of indie gaming and the strange and special stuff that they offer up. Uh, for now, I've been Joey Davidson. Check out the gaming stuff and all of the stuff at technobuffalo.com. Thanks for watching.